Hello, I'm Matt with Camp Chef, here today to show you a new recipe, something to try for the upcoming Memorial Day. It's obviously grilling season, it's here. Uh, one of my favorite recipes is grilled tri-tip. Tri-tip is a cut of meat that a lot of people shy away from, they're a little nervous about it, haven't cooked it before. It's a great cut, has some wonderful marbling to it, uh, absolutely fantastic flavor. Uh, I've smoked it in our smoke vault as well as grilled it on our grill box. And that's what we're going to show you today, is we're going to take these tri-tips, uh, prep them, get them ready, Go out and show you how to cook them on our Camp Chef Grill Box and just a great way to celebrate Memorial Day or any other holiday with your family. All right, well, we've gone ahead and prepared these uh, tri-tips, got them from the butcher, cut a little bit of layer of fat off. We want to leave some on there to render down, add flavor to the roast uh, when we're grilling it. We've washed them off, let them sit out for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, let them get a little closer to room temperature so they grill better. And now we're going to apply a little bit of olive oil just so that the seasoning will adhere well. You want it to stick to the meat and because they've sat out they're a little dry so we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on there both sides of the roast and this is a tri-tip roast so when you go to the butcher they do have tri-tip steaks as well make sure you pick up the roast alright so those are ready and then this is a little sweet and spicy um, seasoning we're going to apply to this one Just your favorite rub. Go ahead and apply that. Get it rubbed in really well. And that's hence the rub name. You really are going to push that into the meat. So you get it all your ends. Get a good coat on there. All right, so that piece is ready. I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna do the peppercorn one as well. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and apply the peppercorn to this roast. And this is a pretty strong peppercorn. So I don't apply as much to the roast. It actually stays adhered to it really well. And that cracked pepper is pretty strong once you cook it. So it just depends on your taste. All right, so you just make sure you got a good even coat across that. And when we cook this up and serve it, we're going to slice it pretty thin. So you want to make sure you have a good even coat that will be on each piece. All right, so those are prepped and ready. We're going to go out and fire up the grill box and get it prepared. And we'll walk you through those steps and then get these grilled. Today we'll be cooking on the big gas grill. One of my favorite units comes from uh, the store with our BB90, uh, two burner grill box, covers two burners on one of the three burner stoves. Has a great side shelf for your tools and accessories. Just a great way to cook. Uh, you can find it at any of your local sporting goods stores. But you could cook these uh, tri-tips on really any of our barbecue boxes. On um, the two burner stoves, the single burners, uh, any of those that have the great, great cast iron grill grates that's gonna really sear this meat, um, do a great job of barbecuing it. Another highlight of these stoves, because they really have the capability to put out 30,000 BTUs Per burner. When you light them, we like to highlight just crack the tank open, maybe about a quarter of a turn before you turn on your burners and ignite them. That way it doesn't kick it into low flow with this regulator. After they're lit, go ahead and open up the tank. That way it's going to give you the full power of those burners when you need them, like we do today. We're going to turn those burners on high, close the grill box and let that grill box get to about 450 degrees. We want it pretty hot so that we can go ahead and sear both sides of these and then turn them down and, and cook them slow. All right, so we've got the barbecue box at 450 degrees, it tells us. So now it's perfect time to go ahead and drop these on. We're gonna sear each side for about five minutes.
let those sear for about five minutes on that side, turn them over, sear for another five, and then we're going to turn the barbecue box down to about medium heat and cook them until they come to 145. We've got our meat thermometer, a remote thermometer that we sell. That's we're going to put into one of the roasts, and actually both of them to monitor that temperature. Once they hit 145 degrees, we're going to pull them out, put them in some tin, tin foil to go ahead and let them sit for maybe three minutes, and then pull them out and serve them. All right, so we've hit our target temperature of 145 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off the grill box, put them in our foil trays, and tent them, and let them sit for about three minutes before we carve them up. Back in the kitchen, hopefully the stage you're going to be, uh, mid-Memorial Day, serving up some of your grilled tri-tip. We've gone ahead and let them sit for three to five minutes. We're going to pull them out. That allows all that moisture to get back into the roast. So you can see there's a lot of moisture in these. We're going to take those and carve it really thin. So you're going to go about uh, eighth of an inch, uh, maybe two eighths inch is the most as you carve this. So there's our peppercorn. You can see how well that grill box has grilled this and kept all the moisture within it. And then there's our sweet and spicy. All right, so I'm going to be the hero here at Camp Chef shortly as we fill this kitchen with people to eat this up. You will as well when you cook this up on Memorial Day for your family and friends.